In the early 1980s, they were going to build the resort community and golf course in this valley and the next valley over. Hawaiians and kupuna in our community led an effort to save this space. Our founders recognized that we needed Waipa to continue to practice and perpetuate our culture and have access to our resources in this community. As a living learning center and a 1,600 acre ahupua'a, one of the big activities that we do here at Waipa since the late 1980s is Poi Day. The goal through Poi Day is to keep Poi available and affordable. The founders of this place saw that back in the 80s, Poi was getting to be too expensive for Hawaiian families and kupuna to be able to buy and consume as the cultural staple food that it is. And so, being situated here in Hanalei, we know who the kala farmers are. We have land we can farm ourselves. Why not work to right that food injustice by growing and buying kalo and making our own poi? And so they started gathering to make poi every Thursday, bringing heiki, friends, family, and we continue that. And we have this core of volunteers that comes every Thursday. For the future of our culture and the future um, of our people, it's so important for us to be continue to eat poi and teach our kids to eat poi. We distribute it uh, at cost for what it costs us to buy the kalo. In that way, we know that we can keep poi on the table, that kupuna can have it because it's their medicine. They can have access to those live probiotics and they can also feed it to their keiki so the keiki get the ono for it. If they don't have the incentive to want to eat the poi, then they're not going to probably go out and grow the kalo and mill the kalo and come here and clean it and cook it because it's a very long uh, process to be able to have poi. But we know that in order to keep our culture going and to perpetuate that, we need to be willing to do the work. Poi Day for us is extremely important for our community, not only to keep poi on the tables of our families and to support our local taro farmers, but it's also a place where people come together. It's our kupuna social hour. It's our community's way to socially stay together. In April 2018, the community around Waipa, Kauai's North Shore community, was hit by an epic flood event. It devastated a lot of the infrastructure in our communities. We sent a lot of poi and lots of fresh local produce out to the communities that were unable to access stores. It taught us that it's extremely valuable to have local food producers in your communities to help provide healthy food to people in the event that they get cut off. Because the road was closed, we had to shut down our farmer's market. We started putting the produce that we harvest from our gardens in a self-serve fridge here at White Paw. So it became easier for people to come in and stop in and get their produce here. And so now we actually see a lot more people come in and out of this space now that maybe didn't before. It was not just uh, gratifying for us because it gets our produce out to the local community. But surprisingly enough, we actually make more money off the fridge than selling our produce at farmer's market. We're in a really exciting time right now because there's such a movement around farm to table, community supported agriculture, small scale farming, local food is much more accessible. Food is empowerment. When you can literally eat the fruits of your labor, it does so much for the human spirit. And if we all can return to some kind of practice of being with Aina, and we can malama Aina, the Aina will malama us back.